In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this very simple dual lighting effect in Photoshop using gradients. Now, just so you know, the best type of images to pick for this effect are ones that are low key or high contrast. So that would be like this one where the subject is lit up and the background is dark like this. And then you can apply the effect with the lighting on both sides. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is head down to this little half circle thing right here, click on that, and then click on gradient. That's gonna put a gradient fill layer and open up this gradient fill dialog box. We're gonna change the angle to zero. Well, zero for me, because I need mine coming exactly from the left, because my image is pretty much vertical, like split down the middle. If yours is on some kind of angle, then feel free to adjust the angle to what makes sense. Then we're gonna click within the gradient right here, which opens up the gradient editor, and we're just gonna change our color. So this box right here, the bottom left one, click on it, and then click here for the color, or double click on the box. Then slide this little circle thing right to the top right and pick your color. So I'm gonna pick a kind of a vibrant pink like that. I'm gonna click OK. And then we're gonna adjust the transition. So these opacity sliders on the top, the further you have them apart, the more gradual the transition is gonna be of the gradient and the closer you have them together, the more harsh that transition is gonna be. So I have more of a harsh line here. That's what I want in this case. And since my transition, I want to be pretty much right down the middle of my image, I wanna make sure this diamond thing is kind of in the middle of this gradient. If your face or whatever was over here, then you might wanna slide these over like this so the transition is happening right where you want it to happen, okay? So I'm gonna move mine back like this and like this and then just click OK and click OK. Then we're gonna go Control or Command J to duplicate that. And then while you're on the thumbnail, make sure the thumbnail side is selected, double click, and then change the angle for this one to 180 to put it to the opposite or make it so it's the opposite angle of whatever you had your other one. Then click within the gradient and we're just gonna change the color. So this time I'm gonna pick maybe a blue like this somewhere in there, click OK and click OK. We can adjust the position of these colors and where they are a little bit more later if we need to, but for now just click OK. Then for each of these, we're gonna switch the blend mode right here where it says normal, we're gonna switch it to color. So I'm gonna switch that one, I'm gonna click here and switch this one to color as well. And that's the base effect, but we're gonna enhance it a little bit more, okay? So for this one, I'm gonna name this uh, oh, sorry, this one is pink. And then this one I'm gonna name as blue. So just double click on it to rename it. I'm gonna name that one blue. And then I'm gonna duplicate each of these. So I'm gonna go Command or Control J to duplicate pink. And I'm gonna change the blend mode to soft light and dunk the opacity down to like 15, 20%. All that does is add like an extra little kick within the dark areas over there, okay? And we'll do the same thing with blue, Command or Control J to duplicate, switch it to soft light, and then drop the opacity down 15, 20% somewhere in there. The next thing we're gonna do is add some contrast. So we're gonna go back down to our little half circle thing here, click on that and pick levels. You can pick curves if you want as well, but I'm gonna pick levels. And just make sure it's at the top right here. So maybe it appeared like down here like this and just click on the little half circle thing and drag it up to the top. Then up here, there's really just a few things you're gonna have to make a decision on. So for me, this middle one, this is your like mid tones. I'm gonna slide this to the right a little bit. This one will deal with your darks. So if I slide this over, it's gonna make my darks even darker. So I'm gonna do that to add a little bit of contrast. And then this side, will brighten your brights. So, you know, depending on how you want your thing to look, like obviously that's crazy, but you might wanna brighten it up a little bit to make sure the lights are like shining a little bit brighter. This one will darken your highlights, so leave that one alone, and this one will brighten your dark. So leave that one as well, unless you want to kind of create like a hazy effect. Now, before we add our final, final touches, let's just deal with the kind of positioning and transition of our colors, okay? So we're, I'm gonna go into pink first, so make sure you're on the thumbnail part of it, double click, and then now you can just click within here and you can move this around. Like the, you can see that the gradient, I'm moving it. Feel free to move this to wherever you think looks the best, so I'm gonna kinda go like that. I like that there's kinda some purple down the middle here, and then click OK. And I'm gonna do the same thing with blue. I'm gonna double click and then click and slide this over. Now, you'll see that whatever your top one is, is gonna be more dominant. 
So this one, I can cover this whole thing up if I want. So really your top one is the one that you're gonna create the kind of final positioning on how you want things to be. So I kind of like maybe something like that. I'm gonna click okay. And now we're ready for our final touches. But just so you know, these are all optional. Do whatever ones you think work for you. Okay, so the first one, maybe you don't have the color that you like. So you can always go back into your colors. So I'm just gonna pick the pink one here, double click on the thumbnail, like gradient side here, click back in the gradient and change the color to whatever you want. So maybe you want, you know, green or something, you can do that. Click OK and OK. And then make sure to do the exact same thing to the copy layer as well. So if I double click here, go in, I would change this one to the same or similar color as well. Click OK and OK and OK, and you're good to go there. Now I'm just gonna go Control Z to get it back to here. Okay, the next one is you can adjust how the color is impacting in the areas like over here in the shadows. To do that, just pick a layer. So I'm gonna pick blue this time. I'm gonna double click to the right over there. That opens up your layer style menu. I'm gonna move it over here so we can see. And we're just gonna mess with blend if. So if you hold Alt or Option and then click on one side of these little sliders, so this side, you can see that we can take away some of that blue in the kind of dark areas there. So just so you know, it it works in this area, but it's also gonna take some away from like your guy, like your face over here. So just be careful of how much you're gonna do. So if you go too far, it's gonna really take it away. So you just wanna do a little bit to maybe dull out this kind of light that's coming from over here. You can also mess with this top one as well. That'll help take some away sometimes too. And then the final enhancement that we're gonna do is with filter and then camera raw filter. But to do that first, we're gonna click on our top layer here, the levels one or whatever you had up there. Hold shift, click on the bottom one, then go command or control J to copy all those layers. Command or control E to merge them together to make one layer right here. Then right click, convert it to a smart object, and then go back up to filter and then camera raw filter. Now in here, we're gonna be able to adjust a whole bunch of things if we want. I'm just gonna do a few things. You could still adjust like the temperature and stuff of your colors and the tint, but I would say just leave those alone. Adjust the colors if you want, like I showed you before by going back into the gradient fill. Uh, you can add contrast here more if you want. If you didn't do enough from levels, if you wanna play around with that, you can, or anything else in here. The only one I'm gonna deal with is shadows. I'm gonna just dump this back just a little bit to take a little bit more away from those dark areas. I'm gonna play around with texture clarity and dehaze. So if you want a highly texturized image, then just crank this up. You can see it adds all those like little details and stuff in there. I'm actually gonna go the opposite a little bit. I'm gonna soften my image up a bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of clarity back in. If you go too much, again, it is very much like that texture thing. You can really highly texturize it if you want, but I'm gonna go kind of there and just a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna dehaze a bit to darken some of that. And I'm gonna add some vibrance, just add a little bit of extra kick into the colors that are there. And that's it, I'm gonna click OK and we're good to go. That's how you create a very simple dual lighting effect in Photoshop. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time.